Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to create the right relationship between your hand and the racket head to get terrific topspin and racket speed and power into your forehand. Now in recreational play, what we very often see is prior to contact with the ball, that the racket head is level with the hand. And then as the player attempts to get topspin, they pull the racket upwards, but the drag and upward movement and the attempt to get spin is too late. We need the racket head to be below the hand prior to contact. In every high level forehand that you see, when the player is hitting topspin, then the racket head drops below the hand and remains below the hand until contact. Quite simply, if the racket head is level with the hand prior to contact, then any effective topspin is impossible. So we need to make sure that the racket head is below the hand. But to do that is not so easy because it's easy to feel what our hands and our body is doing, but it's not so easy to be aware what tools and instruments that we're holding, such as rackets it's not so easy to know what they're doing, especially in a very, very short space of time. So a great way of getting the feeling for this is to choke upon the grip and think about where the racket butt is going. You see, if the racket butt is pointing across to the side prior to contact, then there cannot be topspin. I can push the ball up, I can make it roll, but I won't get any effect on the ball to change the flight of it, to shape the ball. But if the racket handle is pointing at a 45 degree angle up and a 45 degree angle away, then now I'm in the perfect position to snap the racket upwards and to get topspin. So using the racket butt in this way is a great way of understanding and comprehending where the angle of the racket and the relationship between the racket head and the hand should be. And now how to get it in actual play. And to do this, you've got to think about looseness. You see, it's pretty natural, if I take the racket back and come forward and I'm very loose, that I'll find that position. But as soon as I tighten the grip and add tension and strength and stress to my contact with the racket, then the racket straightens. It loosens, it straightens. It loosens, it straightens. So by using this as a very simple progression, Make some strokes where you hit the ball with the choked up kind of baby grip and you'll find that naturally you can feel where the racket head is because you can feel where the racket handle is. And then go back to a normal grip and totally relax through the stroke and the racket head will go below the ball until contact and you'll get way more topspin, a faster swing and more power and effect and control on your forehand. I hope this makes sense. Let me know how it works in your game, all the players that you work with. And if you like my ideas, have a look at our books on Amazon. It's a blend of science and detailed information on the anatomy and physics of the strokes, and then with super simple explanations such as this. Everything geared to make the real change to your game. Or join a community of players in over 35 countries all over the world who are having one-to-one -one online coaching with me. It's a unique service where we provide video analysis and then personalized lessons such as this. It's inexpensive and really effective. For more information, have a look at the website or email me. So make sure that the relationship between your racket head and your hand is correct. Remember, the racket head must be below the hand prior to contact, and then you'll get the kind of whip and snap that enables you to control the ball, to shape the ball, and hit fantastic forehands. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.